Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome back to my Kentucky native garden. It's early spring here. It's April 3rd and we've had a pretty rough spring with a lot of winds. So I've been doing a little cleaning up. I leave the leaves as I told you before, but they got rearranged a little. So I've been straightening them out and cleaning up a few weeds. But I wanted to show you some things that are blooming in my garden today. Some of them are the very things that we've seen before, but I have a few new things I want to show you too. We'll start out with our wild ginger. That's a great ground cover. It likes shade, it likes moisture, and it loves it right here beside the foundation. It does have little blooms on it, but the blooms are under the leaves, so you can't see them unless you pick up the leaves. And we also have the wild violets that I love. I use those as a ground cover all around my yard. They're so pretty. This is my creeping phlox. It's a great ground cover. It stays green year round. And I love it this time of year. It blooms out nicely and I have several different colors. The pollinators love it. My celandine poppy just opened up its blooms today. I'm always so excited to see that in the spring and it has reseeded itself all over the yard, which I really love. This is green and gold. I just planted this about a year ago and this is the first time it's really bloomed. I bought it as a ground cover to go under this bald cypress tree and it has really spread out. You can see it all in this area. And it's a great ground cover under things like columbine. So I threw some columbine seeds in here and you can see those coming up now. This is purple phacelia. This is a spring ephemeral. It's wild, but I dug it from another part of our lot and put it here and it has spread out. But it's such a pretty sweet little spring flower. This is another spring ephemeral. I transplanted it from another place on our lot and it's come up several years in a row. It's called Dutchman's Britches because it looks like a little pair of britches hanging there. So I'm always so excited when something that I planted actually makes it through the winter. This is nine bark and I took it from another nine bark bush. It puts out suckers and I dug one up and put it here and it looks like it's gonna be nice and healthy. It's a great native shrub. It can grow to five or six feet tall, but I'll probably keep it trimmed a little since it's under this electric pole. This is Fragrant Sumac. I started this from a tiny little plant about eight or nine years ago. It's a great native shrub and it's got some tiny little blooms on it right now. I also wanted to show you these logs. I got this idea from my friend Natalie. This is a very steep slope and it erodes very easily. So I just found some old logs down in the woods, pegged them in so that they wouldn't roll away. And hopefully that will hold in some of the dirt and the leaves and everything else that I have behind it. Thanks for visiting the Kentucky Native Garden Channel. We'll have some more videos soon when more things begin to bloom. Make sure you press that like button and also subscribe to our channel.